Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 4. Today we are in the 30th episode of this series and today we have Rishi here with us who has been recently placed at Uber as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us but before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students belonging to computer science, ECE, EEE and mechanical were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 6 or 60% in their 10th, 12th and a 7.5 CGPA or a 75% in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to him and understand his experience. Firstly, welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. My name is Rishi Goswami. I'm currently in my fourth year of B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering at BIT Chennai. Uh, my interests include Data Analytics, Data Science and Machine Learning. Uh, when it comes to my internships, I interned at a startup called TransLab Technologies Private Limited in Bangalore from September 2023 to November 2023. Okay. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. So for Uber, the first round was the online assessment. It was a 25 minutes test and it comprised of two sections. The first one, one of them was uh, an SQL based uh, section and the other one was general aptitude questions. So okay. if, as far as I remember, uh, one of them was a 10 minute section and the other one was 15 minutes. Okay. Then uh, after the test around uh, nine students were shortlisted for my role, which is the business analyst role. And we had two rounds of interviews. Okay. So for me, the first round of interview was a technical round. Uh, and in my case, I was mostly asked questions on SQL. I was asked general theoretical questions i was asked to write queries and explain the logic and stuff okay and the last part uh, included questions based on python i was asked to predict okay. the output of some basic python code snippets okay so after the first round ended the next round was a managerial round okay so in that i was asked questions majorly on my resume and even in that uh, the internship project which I had worked on, I was mainly cross-questioned on, based on that project. Okay. And I was even uh, given uh, one or two business scenarios. Hmm. Let's say one of one question that I remember was, let's say I'm a, I'm a general manager at Uber and I want to expand into a new city. Hmm. So what are parameters I would consider before launching Uber in that city? Hmm. Okay. So that was one question that I was asked. Hmm. And... Yeah, this, these were the rounds and by next day we had got the results. Okay, okay, that's great. So finally, how many people were selected? So for my role, uh, there were three uh, selected students, including me. And for the second role, which was a user testing role, hmm. in that only one student was selected. Okay, okay. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. And sure, sure. And do you have any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you'd like to share based on your experience? So what I learned is from my experience, the entire placement season is not only about how skilled you are, how much you've prepared, but it's also about uh, your patience. Like you'll have to be very patient during your placement season because it's a long process. Uh, so you'll have to keep trying. Do not rush. With mm. any company, give your time to a company, right? Do not rush that you want to get placed as soon as possible because definitely you'll have you'll have a company, you'll have something that really good in store for you. So you'll just have to wait and watch, right? Mm. Give it your best shot. And when it comes to the preparation, DSA is obviously one thing that you'll have to really focus on. You cannot ignore DSA. And when it comes to the core subjects, you have SQL, you have ob object-oriented programming, database management systems, computer networks. So you have multiple resources like Geeks for Geeks, interview grid and all to prepare these subjects. And also do not ignore aptitude because most of the companies around 80 to 90% of the companies will have aptitude in the first round. So if you can't clear that, then you won't reach the interviews. Right? So do not ignore aptitude, practice that as well. And 
be well versed with your resume like everything you have in your resume make sure you know about it because you have to be able to answer questions based on your resume yes so keep trying and you'll do great okay that's great thank you so much and congratulations thank again you. and thank you thank you so much Thank you all for watching please do like share and subscribe and let me know which company you would like next